Good morning to you on this Wednesday morning. Today is Ash Wednesday. It means it's the beginning of Lent. In six weeks we celebrate Easter. So we're just going to pause for Mark for today and we're going to look at Psalm 51 or some of the verses of it which is a prayer of repentance. Ash Wednesday is traditionally a day when people search their hearts and uh, especially come before the Lord uh, in repentance. Psalm 51, a psalm of David when the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. We begin from verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop, I will be clean. Wash me, I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. And you know, my friends, that David prayed this prayer and God forgave him. He still had to live with the consequences, as we often do, of our sin, but he was forgiven. The good news of Easter is that if we confess our sins, God is just and able to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The good news is, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus came and he came as the Lamb of God. He came as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. When we believe on him, our sins are forgiven. That is why we have Easter. If we repent of our sins, if we do something wrong, we need to turn to God. We need to ask him for forgiveness. And he always forgives us for the sake of Jesus. Jesus paid our sin debt in full. He took it all upon himself. He died as the perfect sacrificial Lamb of God. God accepted his sacrifice on Easter morning. He raised him up again and gave him a new life and he lives forevermore. And we too, believing on him, will experience the resurrection to a new and eternal life with him if we trust in him. Lord God, Heavenly Father, on this Ash Wednesday, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We come to you, Lord, with gratitude. We come to you with thanksgiving. Thank you that you loved us so much, that you came into this world, and you bore our sin debt. You took it upon yourself. You became sin, you who knew no sin, and died in our place, taking our punishment, that we may have life. We thank you for that. And we ask, Lord, that you would cleanse us from all of our sins. Wash us with your holy, precious blood. Help us, Lord, to walk in your truth and in your ways every single day thank you that our sins are forgiven when we repent thank you that our sins are blotted out from your book and that nothing can ever separate us from your love we love you lord and we ask that during this time of lent you would help us to grow even deeper in our understanding of you and walk with you even closer lord god heavenly father we pray for the country in which we live in and we thank you for our places of residence We pray for those who are in authority. We pray that you give them wisdom and understanding and guide them. They need your godly wisdom. These are dark and difficult times. We pray, Lord, that you would just help them. Heavenly Father, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Ukraine and we pray for an end to this horrible war. Also, we pray for those who are suffering the after effects of the big earthquakes and all the other different things that are happening around the world. Lord God, Heavenly Father, We lift up before you the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for those who mourn. We pray especially for those souls that have not yet accepted your gift of salvation. We pray that today would be the day. 
Help us, Lord, to be good witnesses, good ambassadors of your kingdom. So we pray that you would take us by the hand, lead us and guide us. And now, Lord, we combine all of our prayers by praying the prayer that you have given to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed Ash Wednesday. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow when we continue with Mark's Gospel.